I'm feeling a bunch of anxiety. Oh gosh. Okay, I wanna get everything ready for the trip, right? I wanna be successful, I want to help. So, um, I've been saying this a lot lately. I am not wealthy in money. I am wealthy in experiences, adventures. I've had several. I'm wealthy in friends, friendships, relationships, family. Um, and I am so utterly, completely supported by the universe, source, energy, spirit, whatever you want to call it. I am completely supported when I'm aligned with my purpose. And this trip is definitely in alignment with my purpose. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Yet yeah, I am... Oh, I'm finding myself really, really stressed. Um, just that I only have a few days left. So I'm doing my packing, making my lists. I've gathered some tools. Like um, I did get a new laptop. I did get a tablet so that I'll have a backup. Um, if something happens to my phone. I've, there, I do have a few phones in a few different rivers. <laughs> So that's a possibility always. So back up. Um, I've got some extra batteries to charge with. Like I can charge my laptop a couple of times on this one. And then I can uh, recharge it somewhere. Um, and then, you know, so making sure I have the right tools so that I can edit videos, which this is all new for me all new like I have done a few little you know like we all have we go on family vacations I make a video I post it usually don't have to do any editing <laughs> and so um yeah this is new you guys saw my first video they'll get better maybe they might get worse <laughs> they might get better we'll just see but I was feeling you know like it'd be best if I could uh go ahead and gather up all of the things that we need right and um call up my provider my cell service provider and make sure i have you know access to everything so um this is part of the frust oh i have such a hard time with cell phone companies um and i've been with the same one for a very very since 2005 so goodness um and I go and I order these things and they sent me stuff that I don't need and added a new line for me. I don't need that either. And then um, I send it back and they switched my plan. Oh, so I'm smiling now, but I was crying last night, you guys. I was crying. Uh, and I go in and um, try to get some help and they have me call their international number um you know we're like oh yeah let's do this plan and let's add this hotspot so that dawn is going to be able to upload everything for you guys to see and not have any lag time problems or you know any problems and they you know the sales people are hooking me up but then um yeah so i call the international number was his name Charles? Because oh, shout out, bless the little light that is in you, young man. Uh, and I told him that. <laughs> After an hour and 15 minutes on the phone, um, figuring out the best routes for me, thank you. Thank you for that. And uh, determined that none of the stuff the, the other people um, had suggested would work. Because when you go to Costa Rica, you're going to be on their, um, their systems. You're going to be like, I'm with my cell phone provider and carrier here. But as soon as I get there, take my phone off airplane mode, you know, or turn it on or whatever, I get a text. Um, this has happened every time the text tells you, Hey, welcome to Costa Rica. And here's, um, 
what to expect. So my calls will be 20 cents a minute. Um, and the uh, data, uh, cell data is free, is included with my plan. And they'll put, they move you over to, um, I think they have Movie Star and Kobe there. Kobe, is that right? Um, so they switch you over to their networks. Um, but it's very slow, very, very slow. So, um, <laughs> that's why, that's why I was crying. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> so I am going to be able to do this. I mean, I don't know. I don't know for sure how everything's going to work out guys. Right. But I think we're going to be able to do this. And, um, um, there is an option if you want faster internet uh, or data service when you're there, you can tap that little text that you get. There's a link and it will give you an option to, did I just cover up the sound? You guys, I'm gonna get better at this, maybe, I hope. I hope for your sake that it's not gonna be so, uh, <laughs> mind numbing <laughs> to watch um dawn learn but yeah so he so you can tap on the link and you can choose um high speed for high speed data and um service for 50 dollars a week so yeah yeah i'm gonna do that i wouldn't do that here but for this purpose and this trip I'm definitely going to do that and we'll just see so um also we I had a little glitch in um timing with my friend Rohair um he just he has he does tours also and so he's got a tour coming in and he's got some work to do and suggested that I come in at a little bit later date and you know <laughs> I've already bought my airfare and so I just my brain started thinking well who should I visit because maybe there's a reason for that maybe um maybe that I wasn't going to go into La Carpio this time but maybe that means that I should maybe that's opening up some time so that I can visit with Gail I don't know so I reached out and we'll just see what happens and um and I reached out to another friend uh Yasmin and we'll just see what's meant to be um, I'm, I've chosen a holiday to travel and so there's, it's Good Friday, which is a very big deal in this country, very big deal. Um, a lot of Catholic families and they will all have the day off <laughs> and, uh, exodus to the beaches with their tents and their families for camping and, um, family time. And... Um, the transportation is limited, um, from what I'm told at this time. So I have not been there, um, at this, you know, for Good Friday before, and we'll just see. So yeah, I was <clears throat> definitely having a super high anxiety, a little bit of a meltdown, trying to control what was going to happen, where I'm going to be, um, how I'm going to get there. Uh, where I go like I'm not just uh, if the bus is if the transportation is limited then I'm going to need to rent a car that can get pretty expensive because um, you do want the full insurance it's doable but you know I'm not sure that that's the best way and then uh, Rohair mentioned that we might get to go to um, visit with another clan or with the Cavacar and I'm very, very excited about that. I would absolutely like, yeah, let's go. I'll rent a car for us to go anywhere, anywhere he wants to take us, right? That's the whole point. If he takes me, he's taking you, we all get to go. So I said, absolutely, we would love that. And we'll figure that out um, some way. Um, but yeah, just all of the stress, all the stress was really getting to me and I thought, you know, I know how to do this. So here, so this is what we're going to do. I know things aren't going to look the way they do in my brain. I know not to have expectations 
about what it will be. And that way, I'm far more open to what's meant to be. And far more flexible, um, grateful, and then I think because I'm flexible and grateful that more opportunities come to me. And um, this is going to be one of those great, fantastic, amazing experiences that I don't control. Uh, I mean, we do what we can. I will plan ahead and be prepared for what I can uh, for safety. I have a good brain. Um, I have good intuition. I will be safe. I know how to prepare to a point and then I know how to be flexible. I know how to be flexible for the things for which we can't prepare. And that opens up the experience. That is what creates the true adventure, like the not knowing, right? And so um, instead of panicking over little changes in the schedule or transportation or um, whether or not I'll be able to upload all the videos. Like I can just accept um, whatever is meant to be, is meant to be. And I have learned in my short life that um, there's great liberation in simply allowing great freedom, great joy, juicier experiences. If I allow what's to be, to be. And don't try to force everything. Um, take the easy way. I mean, that is not what I was brought up with. That was not the line. <laughs> but I have learned the easy way. It's easy because that's the way you're supposed to go. So many of us ask all of the time, you know, ah, what's, what am I supposed to be doing? Which direction? The easy one. The easy one. I know that's counter to a lot of what we've grown up with. That's how you know the way you're supposed to go. It's laid out before you. It calls to you. It says, hey, come here. This is the easy way for a reason. So, I'm just, that's, that's how we're going to do Costa Rica. Um, things will not always look the way I think they're going to. Isn't that exciting? So I'm going to do a little meditation. That's going to help me. I was really like, oh, really amped. And, you know, when I get tired, I've been kind of pushing it all to get a lot of things done with work and uh, packing and planning and using the brain muscles. And, you know, I get tired. And when I'm exhausted at night, things just can seem more stressful. And I thought, well, I'll be better in the morning. But then I woke up with that anxiety again, that stress. So knowing, knowing what we know now, things aren't always going to look the way we expect. And that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That is the adventure. So knowing that, knowing that we're open to whatever opens up before us. And if the path is closed, then we're meant to go some other way. And that's okay. We're meant to do some other thing. And that's okay. And so knowing that, let's go ahead and let's close our eyes for a moment. Will you have a little meditation with me? <sighs> let's just set that in, right? Let's just set it in. Let's all just close our eyes or find a soft focal point just ahead. 
downward. Let your eyes be soft. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <laughs> the things I worry about, right? The things, the distresses I believe. Let's do that again. Whew. Deep breath in. Letting that oxygen, that pure life, pura vida, go to every cell of the body. Bringing in that life energy with the inhale and just blowing out the stress. One more time. <sighs> and just visualize with me, if you will, a bird's eye view from the air of the jungle, the canopy. If you hear this airplane, bring it into the meditation. Be the airplane flying over the jungle, just observing. Just notice all the different shades of green green for life, for compassion, for heart, love. Just breathe it all in. Hold it. And then let the stress go. and bring to mind the word adventure. Breathing in life, energy, adventure. Holding it and breathing out control. To the universe as we again breathe in adventure hold it and breathe out control Dropping your shoulders, softening your forehead, your jaw, 
any place still rigid or tense. And breathe in Pura Vida and let it go. Again, breathing in the breath that connects us all with one another, with life, with source, breathing it in. As we breathe in the air and allow ourselves to align with this connection, it becomes much easier. To remember we are supported. We are safe. It becomes easier to listen to our higher selves, our intuition, to follow our purpose. to let go of fear, thank you for joining me in this brief meditation. And when you are ready, flutter your eyes open. And join me here again. And I hope you continue to join me for whatever may be. However it works. I will give you 30 days with the Bri Bri. whether I get to upload them while I'm there, um, whether I can do full videos on YouTube or um, just little, little bits on the Adventure Dawn TikTok account that I just started and am completely unfamiliar with. Um, the how is yet to be discovered. And that is part of the adventure. So, we'll see what we see. Namaste. <laughs>